Let's stay with energy because the one hard and fast promise the Prime Minister made during the last year election campaign was that if elected he'd cut your power bills by $275 a household per year. Now, this was based on his repeated assurances that renewable energy was, was cheaper than that provided by coal and gas, even though renewables have to be firmed when the wind doesn't blow and the sun doesn't shine. Now, that's not looking good with Snowy 2.0, the pumped hydro scheme, with costs blowing out and admitted $6 billion for the May project alone. That's what they admit. I tell you, it's a lot more than that. Plus all the billions on extra transmission infrastructure and a further two-year delay in its completion, now not expected till the end of the decade. Meanwhile, New South Wales has just lost 10% of its reliable electricity with the closure of Liddell, and it'll soon lose 25% in under two years' time when Iraring closes. Today, the former boss of Snowy Hydro, Paul Broad, unloaded on the government's green dream. Iraring cannot close. Cannot close. Even now, we're closing Liddell. We're on ice edge. You watch when it gets really hot or really cold, just how tight it gets in New South Wales. If the lights don't go out, I'll be awfully surprised. The notion that you can have 80% renewable in our system by 2030 is to use the vernacular. Can you use the vernacular? Yes. It's bull mm. It's bull You can't. Ben, ben, the truth is we need this transition. If it ever occurs, uh, it will take 80 years, not eight. And for good measure, he added this. There is no hydrogen in Nada, and it won't be for another 10, 20 years at the earliest. Whatever the government says, be certain that energy policy in this country is a slow-motion train wreck.